Long time no see, treasure hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. This is Knuckles. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd The Shore. I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went through Mad Space, which was not a fun time. And in this episode, uh, we've already beat the boss fight. saved your life? Saving my life? Don't think I owe you one. You just wanted to hold my hand, didn't you? That's why you saved me. Here's a decree. This isn't a joke, you know. Think what you want, that girl. I was saving the Master Emerald. <sighs> no matter what you say, it sounds crazy. What? Fine. Then just take them. They stink like a kidnapped do. If that's what you thought, you should have given me them in the first place. Finally. What? I'm sorry if I hurt you. We should get going. should be telling them the end is near, not you. Now is the time to end this long drawn out battle. Place in history as the ultimate genius. If something happens to me, I'm counting on you to finish the job. Hurry, the moment for attack has come. It's now or never. We have reached the penultimate level of the Dark Side story, the Cosmic Wall. This is such a cool level because, as you can see, when I hold A, I float straight upwards. It's not even a hover, because since we're in space, there's no gravity, the little jet booster thingy just is pushing me more than gravity is doing. So I'm just allowed to do that, which is sick, and I think is actually a really, like, cool idea. I don't know if it was a thing where it's like, because obviously they're gonna, I'm pretty sure they planned out the story of like, okay, I gotta go to space and something or other, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, I don't know who thought of the idea of like, okay, let's put Eggman out in space and have his mech, like, float. Whoever that did that is a genius. Uh, unless it's, like, Yuji Naka, who has made news recently. I made reference to it in a previous video. But creator of the series, Yuji Naka, has found himself in jail. Um, or, I don't want to say anything, because I don't want to end up on the wrong side of the law. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that Yuji Naka has been put in jail. Um, I forget the exact details though, so I don't know. Go look it up on your own. Uh, there's a platform back here, right? Okay, there we go. 
But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, this is the last level before the final level, because we just have this, a boss fight, and then the final level, and then the final boss fight, and we'll be done, which means it's actually pretty cool. First five episodes and the first, like, week is uh, dedicated to uh, the hero story. The second week is, er, the and the last levels is dedicated to the dark story, and then the finale uh, will be, you know, next week, obviously, and it'll have to deal with the entire final story. Because it feels weird if I, you know, do the final level, or I, like, try to cut that up into bits. So we'll just do one extra long finale. I'm not sure how long it'll be. If I had to guess, probably around, like, 40 minutes or so. Which seems like a, a decent length for a finale. Uh, but yeah, this this uh, LP was like a good few episodes shorter than the first game because 11 episodes. The first LP was uh, 18 episodes, I believe. So yeah, much shorter. But yeah, that was a really cool on rail section. Although I really want to find some rings. Although got a checkpoint right there, so that's fine. I uh, got four lives, so I don't really need to worry about gaming over. Is that the correct turn like term like gaming over? Is that the correct like putting the suffix in the correct place? Cause game overing sounds weird to me. I don't know why. Alright, just gotta fall down here. Worry about artificial chaos, although I don't think I'll have to worry about it too much. Is this already... No, this can't be the end of the level, because there's a checkpoint right there. But I'm pretty sure we're getting super far. I don't think I'll have to worry about this episode being, uh, like, too short, because we're about seven minutes in now. And, ow! And, you know, I still have the rest of this level, a boss fight. Or, the rest of this level, two boss fights, and another level, so... Yeah. This episode... Ah, oh, come on. This episode might actually be a bit long, because I do want to go ahead and just finish up the dark story here. So yeah, there is eventually, you know, a limit to how far you can go up, but the cool thing is, once you stop gaining vertical distance, uh, and you start losing that, you actually start gaining more and more horizontal distance. Not exactly sure the physics behind that. Ow! How? Okay. How was I supposed to, you know, dodge against that, you know? Like, because I couldn't see it coming, at least not from what I can see. Thanks, me. I couldn't see it coming, at least from, not from what I can see. But you get what I'm saying. There, were, I'm pretty sure there was nowhere on the screen where I, I, that could be easily telegraphed. By the time it appeared on the screen, it was already right next to me. And there's no chance that I could easily dodge. Even if I did react, there's no way I could, like, let go of the A button and just fall. Because, you know, it's right next to me. I'll easily get hit. Okay, I know I said in a previous video that Artificial Chaos may not be my least favorite enemy, enemy anymore. It still definitely is. It's just whatever that weird, uh robot thingy was. That's my second least favorite, definitely. I'm gonna... Alright. I wasn't really sure if... Excuse me. I wasn't really sure if I had my hover there, so I just need to go back and check real quick. We've had like three sections in this level where you just go up, and then you go down again. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. This level's called Cosmic Wall, and so there are a lot of parts where you go up, and then you jump over the wall, and then you fall down for a little bit. Is that we're, we're, what we're gonna do here? Yep. What do you know? I hope my comments when I say stuff like that don't come off as like me being like upset with it. Is this the exact same section? Well, like, obviously it's different, but, like, it's weird how they put 
that right there. For a second I thought that I my checkpoint went back way further than I thought for some reason. Also, this layout looks similar to uh, Sonic's rail grinding level at the very end of the hero story. Alright, so this is actually a uh, kind of cool section right here. Uh, if the camera would actually show it, here we have this little spinny thing. Uh, just shoot at it here. Shoot at those little things over on the s that are rotating on that side right there, and you should be good with the level. a little harder. Darn! Why do they always leave a sweet little innocent girl like me alone? Well, well, young lady. Is there something I can help you with? Mr. Eggman! If you value your life, you will tell me where Sonic and Tails are. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. Handing over the fake Emerald? I can kill two birds with one stone! Put the Emerald down right there and back off. Turned into a big time villain, Doctor. <laughs> Whoa! You thought you could trick me with that fake emerald, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails! <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. For a little space ride. The capsule clears the colony. Bam! I'm counting on you, Tails. Amy, take care of yourself. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! Farewell. We have some unfinished business to take care of. If you give me the real emerald, I will release you both. You have my promise. Sonic! Huh? Sonic is asking for the first time to do something for him. I won't let him down. I won't give up! What have you this done? is Tails. That cutscene is still super cool. Oh. Just gotta dodge all that real quick. Oh. There we go, Tails is down. I used the advice that I got last time I faced, uh, when I faced Eggman, where you get real close, target, and then run away. I guess he was just a regular hedgehog after all. Legend has it, when all seven Chaos Emeralds are collected, the power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. All mine. I don't think so. Shadow. Your plan. Or was it a direct order from the president? 
Now I know who you are. You're that government spy, Rouge the Bat, aren't you? So you did your homework, is that it? I would say that's an invasion of privacy. I can say the same thing about you. <laughs> it looks like things aren't quite going your way. But since my job was done, I thought it was time to take what's mine and get out of this place. You are one pathetic creature. Hmm, look who's talking. What about you? Here are the results of the research project called the Ultimate Life Form. But if this picture is of the real ultimate life form named Shadow, then exactly who or what is standing in front of me? Emeralds where they are. The fake emerald is good enough for you. Do you actually believe that you're the real shadow? No doubt. Even your memories might not be real, you know? Even if my memories are not real, it's still me, Shadow, and I will fulfill my promise to Maria. That's the only thing that matters to me. Final chase. Now we've got to hurry to the Eclipse Cannon. At around this time, Sonic is doing his final level, and I gotta say, is there anyone who, as a kid, uh, played the Dark Story first? Because, like, I know I've played through the Dark Story on my own, like, after I've already played through the game. Uh, like, to spice up repeat playthroughs of the game. But, is there anyone who, as a kid, as their first experience, played the Dark Story first, because I could see why you'd want to, because getting to play as Eggman and Shadow and stuff like that seems really cool. But, uh, you know, it's really interesting, like, for those who experienced this game playing through the Dark Story first, how did you experience the story? Because they, they kind of make it seem like Sonic died there. Because we don't get the cutscene, since we're not in the hero story, we don't get the cutscene of Sonic, uh, you know, using the Chaos Emerald to save himself. Uh, and we're not really privy to Sonic and Tails' plans, because I think they already expected you to know. But for those who chose to play the Dark Story, you know, how did your uh, look at the story change? You know, how... what interesting experiences did you, you know, experience? You know, getting to see the uh, villain's plan first and then, like, going to stop it. Uh, when you eventually get around to playing through the hero story. Uh, these platforms, I forget if they were in the hero story or not. Uh, they can be a bit finicky at times. Ow! Okay, gotta make this jump. Hopefully. Okay. That was a bit easier than I thought it would be. But still, you know, still a bit of a nail biter, because... I am constantly, at least in this playthrough, living on the edge, because there have been many points throughout the series where I've just been trying to barely dodge and duck around because I don't have any rings because I suck. <laughs> oh, here's a Mystic Melody. Uh, this is a, an upgrade that I never really get whenever I'm playing through the games, because I always forget exactly where it is, so it's very interesting to see that I, uh, somehow managed to pick it up both in the hero story and the dark story. Wait, is this, uh... Okay. Can I do anything with this? Does this bring me anywhere? Alright. This is actually something that I don't think I've ever seen before, so that's super cool. I think I'll go back and get all of the different upgrades in the game, just so A, I can show people where they are, and B, I, uh, you know, I have a bit of an easier time going through. Uh, I, that does mean that I'll have to extend the series by an extra episode, because it will probably take me a, a, a fair while to get all of the different upgrades. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there.
Sometimes I have trouble speaking whenever I'm going through like a semi-automated section where you're just like going forward a bunch because I'm scared that I'm actually accidentally gonna mess it up somehow. Because knowing me, that's probably something I'd do. Oh. Speaking of messing up automated sections, this is pretty much an automated section here. Just go up, bounce off. I like parts where you can uh, just spin dash and sort of jump over a huge section of the level. Because it, it makes you feel like you earned the ability to skip over an entire chunk of the level you're supposed to be playing and you just get to soar over and, you know, see, see all the different stuff that you should have been doing. I don't know, it's just a feeling that I can't really put into words. Although, with me, that's a lot of feelings. <laughs> I do have issues putting stuff into words, and that's why I think I struggle with commentary especially, because it's kind of hard to, first of all, think of something, and then put it into words that'll make sense, and, you know, try not to stutter stuff or stuff like that. Uh, like right there. For some reason, whenever I talk about stuttering, I always stutter. I think it's because when while I'm thinking about it subconsciously, my brain is going, okay, you're talking about something, don't stutter. And then it's just like, my brain gets overloaded uh, with me trying not to stutter, and then I stutter, of course, and so, yeah, that's an issue I have. Make our way down this tube. The end of the level is probably pretty close to here. I mean, we've been going on for five minutes. I mean, I do enjoy this level, but... You know. There we go. Just as I was saying that. There we are. Time for the final boss. I guess I'm not at full power here. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know what can I say? I die hard. So, there's more to you than just looking like me. What are you anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventuring days are coming to an end. Of course, we end off the Dark Side story facing off against Sonic. Sonic's uh, boss fight is basically like Shadow's boss fight from the end of that story, except a bit harder. So yeah, Sonic also knows how to use Chaos Control, so that explains why he can teleport up front like Shadow could, because he has the same abilities. And of course, we, when we're playing as Shadow, can't use Chaos Control because, you know, that would completely break stuff. It'd be hard to even program that in. I wonder if they did try to... I wonder if they did try to program Chaos Control in as, like, a usable move, how they would do that. Bump into him once. He's in the red now, and just one more time. There we go! That is the end of the dark story of Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> 
That has been the dark story of Sonic Adventure 2. So of course, we need to go back and get all the upgrades, and there is still a final story section of this game. But, yeah, this Let's Play is drawing very close to the ending, and I am super excited. So one gripe that I kind of have with this is that I know that that song was just playing, and I know that it makes sense with this because this is Shadow's theme, and, you know, during Sonic's, uh, the Hero Story, we played Sonic's theme. But I personally would have preferred if we had played Eggman's theme, uh, E-G-G-M-A-N, uh, at the end of this part, just because I think that, that that's, in my opinion, a much greater song. Uh, not to say that this song is bad or anything, of course, but, you know, I just think it would have made a better song for the credits, just because... I don't know, it's a much catchier song, sort of like, uh, what was it called? I keep trying to think, I keep, my brain keeps saying live and learn, but no, it's, uh, it doesn't matter, that's the name of the song. It doesn't matter is super catchy, and E-G-G-M-A-N is super catchy as well. That is its name, by the way. It's Eggman, but, you know, it's, it's an acronym, so you have to say the full E-G-G-M-A-N. I guess some people say acronyms as if they're one word, so it should be Eggman. But I think it's a lot easier for me to say, well, not easier to say, obviously, but, you know, you're able to understand that I'm talking about his theme um, instead of the actual character itself. Because if I just say Eggman, you think, oh, the character. But if I say E-G-G-M-A-N, uh, you think of the theme. I know it probably so sounds like I'm saying gibberish right now. Point is, uh, this has been real fun. Uh, just so some of my thoughts right here. Uh, Rouge's stages are, they've been super, they have been quite annoying, uh, especially the last two. The first couple, uh, were alright. I had a better time with the, uh, uh, egg chamber, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, I had an easier time there than I thought I would, just because Knuckles' version of that stage was hell. But, yeah, it just got super annoying till the end. Uh, towards the end, excuse me. Uh, Eggman's stages, I think, were super fun. Uh, I think they were more fun than Tails' stages. Uh, and Shadow's stages were also were the best part of this, just like this, the Sonic stages were the best part of the hero story. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye